Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo IdeaPad 5. This is the 15 inch screen version. And I'm gonna show you how to access your solid state drive or your hard drive. I'll show you how to access your storage if you need to replace it or upgrade it. So first thing guys, power down the computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from the charger. We're gonna flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now you have several screws. You have three up here along the top of the screen four down here on the bottom, one to the left middle, one to the right middle. And these are all of your screws. Once you get those screws up, guys, you're gonna take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. Metal tends to scratch the case a little bit much. Uh, so plastic pry tool, I like using a hard guitar pick. And you're gonna go around this seam right here that you can see right at the bottom of your bottom case, all the way around, nice and slow. And you're gonna slowly pry up this bottom case from the computer. Be careful not to put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some components, so just keep it on the outside and gently but firmly pry up this bottom case. It may take a, a couple passes around. Once you get that bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, before I do anything in a computer, I always remove or at least unplug the battery. Um, again, just like we unplug the charger, we want to get as little power running through the computer as possible to avoid damage anything while we're poking around inside. So if you have a battery that looks like this inside, um, this is your battery plug right there. And it's actually kind of hard to unplug it independently of removing the battery. So what I did is I just removed my battery. So I had these two screws here on the right, these two screws here in the middle, and this screw here on the left. And that way, once I unscrewed it, then I could pull that out and remove my battery. As another side note, guys, this ribbon cable right here to the left of the battery port tends to stick on the battery. And sometimes when you take out this battery, you pull that right out of that port and you can break that port. So just to be on the safe side, what I would recommend is take out this ribbon cable from that port before taking your battery out so you don't break it. Um, if you notice, this is a black clip that folds up and down, you can see the brass hinges. That black clip, put a small flat pry tool in there and, and open it up. It opens kind of like a book. And again, those are brass hinges. It, it opens on those hinges. So pop that open, slide the ribbon cable out, and then shut that black clip again so you don't break it when taking out that battery. Um, some of you may not see a battery that looks this large. Some of you will have a smaller battery version of this laptop. You'll see either these two sections here and not this one on the left, or you'll just see this one. For those of you, you'll be seeing right here on the left, instead of the battery, there'll be a SATA uh, port right there for an additional hard drive or solid state drive. So that's the first place where you would look to upgrade or replace if you're in this video. Those of you who, again, don't have this long battery will have a SATA, a 2.5 inch SATA port here. Uh, for the rest of us, this is your M2 solid state drive port right here under the fan. So you would unscrew it here if you have the longer solid state drive and that would unplug from the port. Or if you have this one like I did, you would undo this screw here, un undo the, uh, the, the caddy, and then you would unscrew this screw here to get the actual solid state drive out. So that's how you would access your storage. Um, most of you like me will only have this one. Some of you may have an additional SATA port here. So that's where your storage is located on this model computer. Okay, guys, so that's the video. I hope it was helpful in getting into your computer and finding the component you were looking for. Uh, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. I do try to keep those updated over time. If you do need to leave me a question, feel free. I try to answer those at least a couple times a day. Please remember to like and share if this video was helpful, if you think it could help someone else, and feel free to subscribe if you enjoy little quick tutorials like this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.